Welcome to your second web scraping tutorial with Python. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download the source code of a website. First, we're going to include the URL library, which allows us, or actually it's import, URL lib, which allows us to access the internet and make network requests. And now we do URL lib dot URL open. URL open is a function in the URL library. So whenever you see a dot, it's accessing a function of that library. And inside URL open, it takes an argument, and this argument is a string that's a URL. So I can put in uh, google.com. Uh, next, we have to read this file because HTML file now now contains the response text from this request. So we say um, HTML text equals HTML file dot read, and read is another function of the URL library. And then we can just say print HTML text and let's run it and see if it works. Yep, here's all the text. Here's all the source code of the, the Google website. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make multiple requests instead of having a static uh, variable in here, we're going to make an array of strings. So we'll say urls equals square brackets google um, let's do um, New York Times and We'll also do CNN. Okay. So, in order to access each of these, we have to make three requests. So I think a loop is what we'll need. So we'll say, we'll have a iterator variable that will allow us to access all three of these. Okay, now we have a while loop, and basically what it says is while well, i is less than the length of URLs. So when it says the length of URLs, it basically just counts the number of elements within this array. So you can see that there's three. And it will execute this once, and then it will say, okay, now I'll go back to the beginning. Is i still less than three? Yes, and it will keep going forever. So what we need to do is increment i after each request. So now it will say, is i less than three? Yes. Is two less than, is one less than three? Yes. Is two less than three? Yes. Is three less than three? No. So it will, it will stop executing after all, after three requests. So we'll run this. Oh, URL open takes one argument, zero given. Oh, okay, I forgot to put in, when it says URL lib dot URL open, it needs something to open. So we'll give it URLs of i. And that should, i is incremented each time, so it will get all, of, all three of these. One, and then there's the second one, and there's the third. Okay, so it looks like that worked. Now what we're going to do is we are going to 
output just the title of, or we're actually, instead of doing that, we'll just output the first hundred characters of each website. So zero colon 100 is the first um, 100 characters. OK, so these are the first 100 characters of each website. Now what we're going to do is output just the titles. So we also have to import a reg, regex rab, library, or regex, I don't know how to say it, import re. And we're going to say regex equals, and then in single quotes, we'll put title dot plus question mark and and tag of title. And basically what this does it is it will just get whatever is in between the title tags. And next we do pattern equals re dot compile regex. And basically what this does is it converts this regex string into um, something that can be interpreted by the regular expressions library. Next we will do inside the while loop we will do re dot find all pattern HTML and we'll set that equal to titles. And why do we need to put it inside the while loop? Because if we put it outside, for one, HTML would not be defined yet. And secondly, or HTML text actually. And secondly, it wouldn't change after each iteration of the loop. So now instead of printing out HTML text, the first hundred characters will print out the titles of each. So we'll do titles. Google, New York Times, and CNN. So these are the titles of the websites. And what you can actually do is if you go to CNN.com, that's what shows up in the tab. The top of the tab is the title. So we've just scraped the titles of websites from a array. And actually, because we don't, because we use the len of URLs, you don't even need to change anything. You can just make this list bigger. Add facebook.com. Um, you can add uh, youtube.com. And it will function the same. It will find every single one of them. And in the next tutorial, we're going to read from the file. So instead of actually typing these in here, you can read them from a text file or generate them on the fly. Thank you.